Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you all of the temporary root touch-ups that I'm going to test out and the one that I have been using every day. I went into my local pharmacy and I glanced over at the amount of temporary root touch-ups that they had sitting on the shelf and I was just mind boggled. So I bought just about every one that was there and I'm going to test them out to help out you guys and to help out myself to figure out which one really works and which one I'm going to continue using. The main one that I've been using is Clairol and this is Clairol Root Touch Up. It is a temporary powder and this is in the color dark brown and it looks just like a dark brown eyeshadow but it is waterproof and I washed my hair five days ago I've not washed my hair in five days and as you can see my hair never gets greasy I probably would never have to wash my hair and it would be fine but that's really disgusting so I'm actually gonna wash my hair today and I thought it was the perfect day to do it because once I test out all of these different root touch-ups, I'm going to want to wash my hair out. So I applied it on my center part about five days ago. And as you can see, there's not too much gray. Like if I just wore my hair like this, it would be fine. There wouldn't be any major gray showing through, but if I flip it over, you can see there's a lot more gray. So I'm going to start with this one just to show you how it works and what it looks like. So I just fill up the little brush and pull my hair down like this and just brush it across the gray and this works great it covers up the gray and like I said it will stay on the only reason that it would come off is usually around my hairline because I wash my face every day and I'm getting my face wash and soap on the that part of my face so that's the only place I would need to apply it reapply it Okay, so that is the first one. And I'm just going to keep trying different ones and show you how they look and how they work. This next one is L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up Temporary Gray Concealer in the color Medium Brown. It says, Cover your shoulders with a towel, shake well, spray on dry hair about six inches from regrowth, using light steady pressure to blend in the color. Let it dry for one minute and you're done. Okay, well, I'm not gonna cover my shoulders. Hopefully I won't be sorry for that, but I'm going to try and be careful. So I'm going to flip my hair the other way to expose the gray. All right, shake it up. Uh. <laughs> Oof, okay. Huh, okay. Feels wet. crazy that it's turning my part brown as well and I'm further away than six inches you can see it's the overspray is getting on my hand um, okay I'll let that dry I'm gonna actually speed up the drying process with a cool hair dryer real quick but um, I have to say it does work I don't see anything coming off on the tissue, so that's good. Okay, 
that one's good. Um, I would have to say that's a little much for me. Um, so far, I like the first one, the Clairol that I used. I do not like the fact that it is spraying all over the place, but I would say if you have a larger area of hair to cover, this would be quicker. This next one is called Ever Pro Gray Away Root Touch Up Magnetic Powder. Okay, this is black, dark brown. And it says, Gray Away Root Touch Up Magnetic Powder is an instant solution to get rid of those unwanted gray roots. Unique binding formula attaches along each hair strand like magnets, providing the ultimate coverage that stays put all day long. Self-adjusting color technology blends undetectably and matches hair color perfectly. Hidden sponge applicator allows for precise control coverage, mineral infused, washes out with shampoo, perfect for on the go, da, 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 da. Okay, directions. Remove base to reveal sponge applicator. Okay, let's do this as I'm reading. Okay, here is the base with the little sponge applicator. Use a sponge applicator, sweep a small amount of powder over gray roots starting from the scalp and working outward. Reapply as necessary for best results. Apply to clean, dry, styled hair. Let's get some more gray going here. Okay. All right, so the gray away, you just flip open and there is the product. And it says to take this and get it on the sponge and let's see what happens. Oh, okay, that's working. Okay, also works. This I still like better than the spray. I would definitely use this one again. And let's see about transfer. Uh, yeah, it's getting on my hands, but I would say that's normal until it kind of sets. It's getting some on the tissue as well. But it worked and I would definitely use this one again. All right, this next one is also from Ever Pro. This is Gray Away Temporary Root Concealer, black, dark brown. This is what the um, box looks like and directions shake well before use for best results apply to dry hair hold can two to three inches from hair move hand continuously back and forth until gray is evenly covered let it dry two to three minutes if product comes into contact with hands or skin during application remove quickly with damp cloth and or soap and water not for facial hairs or eyebrows or body hair all right let's try this one this obviously is a spray. Oh, it has the same applicator as the, whoops, as the um, L'Oreal. They both have the same identical applicators. Okay, expose some more gray. All right. Oh, it's like identical to the other one. Feels wet. Ugh, it's getting everywhere. Yeah, I don't like these sprays. 
and it looks like it's going to stain my white nail polish so I'm going to go wash my hands but as you can see guys it works it covers the gray I'm gonna go wash really quick I would say so far they're all working I just feel like these are just messier the sprays are messier this is also ever pro beauty gray away root touch up quick stick wax free targeted gray root coverage this is what the box looks like and the directions say for best results apply to clean dry hair remove cap to reveal powder stick apply product to targeted areas in need of gray coverage use sponge applicator to blend color reapply if necessary or until desired coverage is achieved thoroughly wash product out before coloring the hair oh okay thoroughly wash product out before coloring the hair that's good to know avoid contact with eyes if irritation occurs please discontinue use and consult healthcare professional so this seems like it's probably a lot stronger than the other ones because I have definitely colored my hair when I had temporary root touch-up and never had a problem. So this is what it looks like. Why is it? Oh, I see. This goes up and down like a lipstick kind of, and it has this brown... Um, thick okay let's see how this one does okay there's the gray guys now I'm going to color covering I like that you can really get exactly the area that you're trying to cover I mean really exactly like it won't even get on your scalp unless you put it there and that I like It's kind of like, um, I can't even explain. It just feels like, like a thick lipstick kind of. Hmm, okay, I like this. Just need to remember that it needs to be washed out before coloring your hair. And hmm, I like this one. Very targeted especially like for around the hairline. I like it, you guys. I will definitely keep using this one. This is really quick and easy. Okay, let's see if it wipes off. Yeah, a little bit comes off. I really think it's gonna be like that with any of these temporary that until it starts really absorbing into your hair it's going to wipe off a bit but it's still covering the gray nicely yeah that comes off quite a bit so I would say maybe cover your pillow if you're going to sleep with this in your hair but it works and even wiping it off I still my gray is still covered really well. Oh, so I just realized that the um, this crayon has a little sponge. So that actually works out nice. So you're not having to rub it in with your fingers. Just put it wherever you need and then blend that in. Now I like this even more.
it, wi it almost wipes off completely just on my hand with a tissue, like I'm not even using soap and water. And the last one that I have is called No Gray Quick Fix. Covers all shades of brown or black. Instantly covers gray roots. This is what it looks like. Looks like a mascara wand. Directions, leave clear cap on. Unscrew applicator, brush from tube. Pull applicator brush out of the tube with product on. Apply quick fix to dry hair. Brush on with short strokes to gray roots at hairline and part line. To avoid product getting on skin, apply 1 8 of an inch from scalp. A blow dryer can be used to dry product quickly. Hairspray can be used before and after applying product. Replace the applicator into the tube and pull clear cap off to use additional brush and comb to complete application. All right, let's see what we got, guys. This is what it looks like. And oh, I see. Okay, this part, don't splatter, please. Ooh, okay, okay, so it looks like a mascara wand and this is full of product exactly how mascara works and then you can use this other side to blend it in alrighty there is the gray Kind of like dry, but I'm gonna keep going. Oh, well, it already busted. <laughs> this just completely came off. So I'm just gonna use it like this. Not crazy about this one. It feels kind of dried out and not really covering as good, I don't feel like. No, I don't like this at all. I don't like how it's like pulling on my hair. Um, no, I don't like it. This one is L'Oreal Magic Root Precision in Dark Brown. Rotate bottom of concealer counterclockwise three to five times to dispense a small amount of color onto precision brush. Tip, first use may require up to 20 full rotations for color to dispense. Dab lightly brush onto dry hair using gentle swift strokes to blend and blend in color. To avoid transfer to the scalp, gently pull hair away from the head as you brush. Let dry for one minute, recap the brush, and done. It's got a lot of directions in there. Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's actually got like a little brush on there. Like a, feels like a makeup brush. Let's twist it, see how long it takes to get the product to come up. Oh, there it goes. It's coming out the top now. So let's start and see what we got. Oh, okay. Not bad. Wow. Look at that bottom line. Twist it a little more. not too wet it's thicker than like a water I would say it actually feels like a concealer oh 
Okay, I would probably use this again. Not bad, not bad. Covers pretty good. I like that it doesn't get stuck in the part. And you have more control over where you're putting it. Yes, this is a keeper. I would definitely use this one again. All of these kind of temporary root cover-ups would also work great if you're trying to grow out your natural gray hair. I actually tried to grow out my natural gray hair for 15 months and I went the bleaching route and burned off a lot of my hair in some spots down to the scalp. So I would not recommend trying that, although if I ever do try to grow out my natural gray hair again, I will go that route again, but I would take the trip to California and I would go to, I think his name is Jack Martin Colorist, Jack Martin Stylist. I will put up his Instagram name here and you can see all of his incredible before and after. Like he is taking women with my hair color even darker, like using black box dye for 10 years and in one sitting he is getting them from that dark black box dyed color to a gorgeous white silver natural looking gray. So if you know what you're doing, it can be done. Mine unfortunately did not turn out that way, but I can definitely see why you would have to really specialize in that area and spend so much time perfecting that craft. And it is definitely magic when you see what he's done to women's hair. I ended up having to dye my hair. Well, I made the choice to dye it because I didn't want to bleach it again. I burned my natural gray hair with a flat iron that was too hot. I did a video on that and oh, that was so stressful that week when I was trying to save my hair, but I just finally made the decision because I didn't want to bleach and start all over. I just went dark. So for now, it's dark. But like I said, if I ever do it again, I will completely just bleach it gray again and not have to go through the major demarcation. So I'm just gonna pull my hair up. Putting my hair up like this, you can see the gray big time. So I'm gonna use this one again, the gray way, because this is the final hairstyle that I'm going to wear before I wash it out today. Oh yay, I like this one. If you have any, um, if you wanna like fill in your hairline, if you can see any of the gray, this, is really nice. I like it, I like it. This works great, not messy either. And like I said, I also like the powder, but I feel like this one is more concentrated. Yes. stuff is great. I will link all of these products down below in the description box if you want to try any of them out. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye!